Windows includes several built-in tools to diagnose and repair common problems. One of the most useful tools for fixing various issues is the Windows Troubleshoot feature. Here's how you can use it. Open Settings, click on the Start menu and select the gear icon, Gear, to open the Settings app. Alternatively, you can press Win plus I keys together to open Settings. Go to Update and Security, in the Settings window, click on Update and Security. Select Troubleshoot, in the left-hand menu, select Troubleshoot. Under the Troubleshoot section, click Additional Troubleshooters. This will display a list of troubleshooters available for various system components and common issues. Choose the relevant troubleshooter, scroll through the list and select the troubleshooter that corresponds to the problem you're experiencing. We have Internet Connections. This troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and fix issues related to internet connectivity. It can identify problems with network adapters, DHCP settings, and DNS configuration. Common issues it addresses include Limited or no connectivity Unable to connect to Wi-Fi networks DNS server not responding IP address conflicts The playing audio troubleshooter is helpful when you're experiencing problems with sound output on your computer. It can detect issues with sound devices, drivers, and settings. Common issues it addresses include No sound from speakers or headphones Audio playback stuttering or distorted Missing or outdated audio drivers Incorrect audio settings Printer This troubleshooter is used to diagnose and resolve issues with printers and printing devices. It can detect problems such as printer offline status, driver issues, and print queue errors. Common issues it addresses include Printer not responding Print job stuck in the queue Printer driver errors Unable to install or configure a printer. Windows Update. This troubleshooter is specifically designed to address issues related to Windows Update. It can detect problems preventing Windows from downloading or installing updates. Common issues it addresses include Windows Update stuck at a certain percentage. Error codes preventing updates from installing. Windows Update service not running. Corrupted update files. Windows Store apps. This troubleshooter helps diagnose and resolve issues with Windows Store apps. It can detect problems preventing apps from installing, updating, or functioning properly. Common issues it addresses include Apps not launching or crashing Unable to download or update apps from the Microsoft Store Store app installation failures Store cache corruption issues Incoming connections The Incoming Connections troubleshooter is useful for diagnosing problems with incoming network connections, particularly for features like remote desktop. It can detect issues with network settings, firewall configurations, and remote access permissions. Common issues it addresses include Unable to establish incoming remote desktop connections Network firewall blocking incoming connections Remote access permissions not configured correctly Network port forwarding issues The Bluetooth troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to Bluetooth connectivity and functionality. It can detect problems with Bluetooth adapters, drivers, settings, and paired devices. Common issues it addresses include Bluetooth devices not being detected or recognized by the computer. Unable to pair Bluetooth devices with the computer. Bluetooth devices connecting and disconnecting intermittently. Bluetooth drivers missing or outdated. Bluetooth service not running or disabled. Connecting to a workplace using direct access. The Connecting to a Workplace Using Direct Access troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to establishing a direct access connection to a workplace network. It can detect problems with direct access client configuration, network infrastructure, and connectivity settings. Common issues it addresses include Unable to establish a direct access connection to the workplace network. Direct access connection drops or disconnects frequently. Direct access client unable to authenticate or access resources on the workplace network. Network infrastructure misconfigurations preventing proper direct access functionality. The keyboard troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to keyboard functionality on your Windows system. It can detect problems with keyboard hardware, drivers, settings, and configuration. Common issues it addresses include Certain keys on the keyboard not working or responding. Keyboard input lag or delay. Incorrect keyboard layout or language settings. Keyboard driver errors or conflicts. The Network Adapter Troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to network adapters and network connectivity on your Windows system. It can detect problems with network adapter hardware, drivers, settings, and configuration. Common issues it addresses include. No internet connection or limited connectivity. 
Network adapter not detected or recognized by the system. Network adapter driver errors or conflicts. IP address conflicts or incorrect network settings. The Power Troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to power settings and power management on your Windows system. It can detect problems with power options, battery settings, and power saving features. Common issues it addresses include. Laptop battery not charging or holding charge. Power plans not working as expected. Sleep mode or hibernation issues. Power management settings causing system instability or performance problems. Program Compatibility Troubleshooter The Program Compatibility Troubleshooter is designed to help users run programs that were designed for earlier versions of Windows but may encounter compatibility issues on newer versions. It can detect and resolve compatibility problems with older software by applying compatibility settings or suggesting alternative compatibility modes. Common issues it addresses include Programs designed for older versions of Windows not running or crashing on newer versions. Compatibility issues with specific features or functions of older software. Errors related to incompatible software dependencies or system configurations. The Recording Audio Troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to recording audio input on your Windows system. It can detect problems with microphone settings, audio drivers, and recording devices. Common issues it addresses include. Microphone not working or not being detected. Poor audio quality during recording. Recording device not available or not recognized. Audio input settings incorrectly configured. The search and indexing troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to the Windows search functionality and indexing service. It can detect problems with search indexing, search results, and the Windows search service. Common issues it addresses include. Slow or unresponsive search results. Incomplete or inaccurate search results. Search indexing not working or incomplete. Windows search service not running or disabled. The shared folders troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to sharing files and folders over a network on your Windows system. It can detect problems with shared folder permissions, network discovery, and file sharing settings. Common issues it addresses include. Unable to access shared folders on networked computers. Permission errors when attempting to access shared files or folders. Network discovery not working or networked computers not appearing in the network folder. File sharing settings misconfigured or disabled. The speech troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to speech recognition and speech synthesis on your Windows system. It can detect problems with microphone settings, speech recognition software, and speech synthesis engines. Common issues it addresses include. Inability to use speech recognition to dictate text or control the computer. Poor recognition accuracy or performance. Speech synthesis not working or sounding distorted. Microphone not detected or not configured correctly. The video playback troubleshooter is designed to diagnose and resolve issues related to playing videos and multimedia content on your Windows system. It can detect problems with video codecs, drivers, settings, and media player software. Common issues it addresses include. Unable to play videos or multimedia content. Video playback stuttering, freezing, or showing artifacts. Audio video synchronization issues. Codec errors or missing codec packs. Run the troubleshooter. Click on the troubleshooter you prefer, then click on the Run the Troubleshooter button. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the troubleshooting process. Follow recommendations. Once the troubleshooter has completed its scan, it will provide recommendations or attempt to automatically fix any detected issues. Follow any instructions provided. Restart your computer. After completing the troubleshooting process and applying any fixes, restart your computer to ensure that the changes take effect. If the built-in troubleshooters don't resolve your issue, use System Restore. If you recently installed software or drivers that caused problems, you can use System Restore to revert your system to a previous state. Open the Start menu and type System Restore in the search bar. Click on Create a Restore Point from the search results. This will open the System Properties window with the System Protection tab selected. In the System Properties window, click on the System Restore button. This will launch the System Restore Wizard. Choose a Restore Point. In the System Restore Wizard, click on Next to proceed. You'll see a list of available Restore Points, which are dates and times when system changes were made. Check the Show More Restore Points option to see additional Restore Points. Select a Restore Point that was created before you encountered the problem you're trying to fix. 
Click scan for affected programs. Wait while the system restore scan for affected programs and drivers. Review the details of the selected restore point to ensure it's the correct one. Click close. Confirm restore point. After selecting a restore point, click finish and confirm the prompt. Your computer will restart and begin the system restore process. Windows will revert your system files and settings to the state they were in at the selected restore point. By using these built-in tools and following the recommended steps, you can often diagnose and fix many common Windows problems.